you don't know what you got until it's gone. A phrase that practically had all of southeastern Virginia saying, after Hurricane Irene made her way up the coast, leaving millions of customers in the dark for days. But thanks to power crews from near and far, the lights are thankfully back on. And through it all, it just goes to show you, electricity has become one of those things that we can't live without. But even on a good day, electricity can be right down deadly. So that is why Dominion Virginia Power does all it can to stress safety and education year round. And they recently made a stop at the Newport News Operations Center to give the Newport News Fire Department and Newport News Public Works employees an eye-opening look at the dangers of electricity with their very impressive arc wire demo trailer. Hey, I want to thank y'all for coming out for this uh, program today. What Dominion wants to do, they want people to be safe around power lines. A lot of times when we have a major storm or something, we're not going to be the first ones to get there. Y'all may get there before us. So we want y'all to be safe around power lines, uh, get a feel for what's going on with them, and some of the parameters you should stay away from them. Uh, what we have here, it's, a, it's an arc demo trailer, and what this does, it takes low voltage, back feeds it through the transformer and creates high voltage. This morning we were having about 7,000 volts. And what we're going to do, we're going to show you some arcs, we're going to blow some fuses, and just show you what type of energy is in that power line and how dangerous it could be. Well, the fire department initially set up the training and then they contacted our training specialist who coordinated to have the training here on site with us. And it was really important for our operators because we do have the equipment that can come into contact with power lines on a daily basis. Like I told you, this arc is around 11,000 degrees. Uh, if you melt steel, you melt steel at about 3,500 degrees. So it was really important for our drivers and our operators to see the importance of power lines, what they can do, and then if you do come into contact with it, what to do and what not to do to stay safe. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to cook a hot dog real quick. We use a hot dog because it's the closest thing we can get to like the human body. It's got meat, it's got fat, and it's got moisture in it. And this thing's going to cook very quickly. So we're going to go ahead and show you what would happen if you contacted a power line. If we have one hole in our glove, it's probably going to equal a fatality. Well, we have found, just like any type of training, that when people can actually see, when you can hear, even sometimes with the demonstrations, even smell, the effects of what the electricity has on different props, then they're much more likely to remember that. We're trying to get first responders to be educated about the hazards of down power lines. Usually they're going to get out on the site before we will. They can run red lights, we can't. Uh, we want them to be safe around our power lines and we want them to know the potential in our power lines and what could happen to them. To y'all, the power lines are in the background. Y'all don't pay attention to them. Every year on our system, we have an average of five third-party contacts. Most of them deal with ladders and most of them are fatalities. So if you ever carry a ladder upright, please look at the big picture. If there's any power lines involved, please carry it down low. Never set it up near power lines. And we'll just show you how good of a conductor an aluminum ladder can be. Oh, it definitely teaches us that uh, there's a lot of power there that we can't see. Well, the power safety guy had said it best. He said you got to look at the big picture. You know, there are a lot of factors out there, a lot of things that could hurt you that if you're not paying attention to can, uh, can really uh, end your day badly. It's really interesting to see exactly what happens. I appreciate it tremendously. I mean, I think this should go everywhere and, and train all, all first responders. If you walked up beside this cart, would you know it's energized? All right, we're going to show you, and if you see the little hippie man here, and he's going to go up and try and help somebody that is in a car that has hit a pole and a wire's on it, and you'll see what happens. So before you rush into a situation, look it over real good. Uh, I'm going to tell you the harsh realities of what I'm a trainer at Dominion and I teach young linemen 
how to do their job. And one of the things I teach them is if you see somebody getting electrocuted and you don't have a stick that's tested or your rubber gloves on, you got to let them go. Because if you rush up there to try and help them, instead of losing one person, you're going to lose two people. Well, it's invaluable training. There's nothing better than hands-on training. There's nothing better than being able to see it firsthand. You can read a lot of books, but nothing, nothing shows you the power of electricity like seeing, seeing something like this.